Hey everyone, welcome back to the Golf House. If you've been here before, if you're new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I'm Jenny and we're gonna do another Sewing with Jenny video. And today I am going to show you another quilt block. I am working on the Autumnville quilt. This is a Thimble Blossoms pattern written by Camille Ross Kelly. I will link this pattern in the description box below. It is such a fun pattern. I love it so much, I'm gonna to have to get the other seasons. Um, I have done the quilt, the, I have done the pumpkin quilt blocks. There are only four pumpkin quilt blocks on this quilt, so I've done three. We're gonna do the last one together. So here is one, here is the other one. They're so cute. And then this one. We're gonna do the last one together. I'm gonna to show you how to put this one together. This quilt is coming together very quickly. I have the bird blocks left and then I'm gonna show you the leaf blocks, which I already did the leaf blocks, but I'm gonna make an extra one and I think I'll just make pillows out of the uh, leaf, the extra leaf block. So I will be showing you two more of those and then I'm gonna put the quilt together. For this block, you need a bunch of little pieces. So I've got the heart pieces, the pumpkin pieces, um, the stem and leaf pieces, and then I have my white pieces over here um, labeled for the outside of the, the block. First thing we're gonna do is work on the heart. And the heart you need these dinky little pieces that nobody likes to work with. <laughs> um, I'm also, you're going to need your rotary cutter and you're going to need um, a ruler. You can even use the smaller one that they've got those little seam rulers. I need to get one of those. I need a lot of rulers. <laughs> so I'm going to take these little pieces. And yes. I got some of the salvage in here, but this one's so dark you can hardly see it, so I don't care. Um, what am I looking for? I need to draw from corner to corner a pencil line, because this is going to be the sewing line here. So I'm going to do that on all of these, because we are going to snowball the heart corners. with these tiny little blocks. Now, keep in mind, I'm not giving out measurements for anything. I'm sure you can gather what this measurement is, but since this is not a pattern that I myself have written, I don't think I'm that good, <laughs> but I can follow one. Okay, these are our heart pieces. On both of these pieces, we're going to uh, snowball the corners like this. So if you can see these, I'm going to go ahead and take this to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew just a smidge on the other side of this line and this one on all of these to snowball these corners. Okay, it is gonna be really hard for you to see these tiny little squares, but I'm just gonna snowball these tiny little squares into the corner here. If you need a pin, use a pin. Oh, I had it on. But it's hard to keep a pin in these tiny little And yep, still using brown thread. Okay, I am going to snowball this corner. Okay, that one got a little off kilter. That's okay, I'll fix it. And now I'm going to do the other one.
Because there's so many little pieces in here too, they kind of get a little wonky. Okay, now that we have both of these snowballed onto our heart, we need to snowball the outside corners of our heart to actually turn it into a heart. So I have those two pieces. I am going to draw another line, corner to corner. I gotta draw mine dark so I can see it. And then we want to snowball this corner so I'm going to put it on so that when you open it up it will be opening up this way and this one I am going to pin and then this corner I almost put it on wrong. <laughs> so I'm going to take this to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew just on this side of the line on both of these. Okay, now that those are done, I am going to cut off my edges. So you can see it's starting to look like a little heart there. I'm going to take this to my ironing board and I'm going to iron it all open. Okay, I'm going to set my seams. And this is just a dry iron. Okay, we're going to take this over the sewing machine and get the next part sewed on. The next thing I'm going to do is take the sides and sew them on each side of my heart. Okay, so I'm gonna take this over to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew quarter inch down the side on this one and the same thing with this one. Okay, I am going to open this up and I'm just going to finger press. I am going to open this up and just finger press and I'm finger pressing toward the dark here. And then I want to sew both of my sides together. So 
So you gotta kinda match up your seams here. This one's kinda hard because they kinda both go the same way. I'm going to sew quarter inch down this side. Okay, I'm going to take this to the ironing board and iron it open. I'm going to set my seam here. And then I'm going to open it up this way. And I am going to very carefully iron this seam open. It makes more sense to iron this middle one open to me. And then just make sure your seam is open. That is the very center of our pumpkin. We're going to go sew on the edges. Two edges. And I am going to flip it this way. It just runs through the sewing machine a little smoother. And I like to pin this one. More pinning, less sliding. And I'm gonna go ahead and pin this one as well. And we are going to do them both. Believe it or not, these are brand new pins. <laughs> okay, I'm take this to the sewing machine, one quarter inch down both sides. And when I was trying to push my seams through, it does help to have a stiletto. Um, I love this one because it has a tiny crochet hook that I can actually pull thread out of a seam with. Um, so I have got this one and I use the purple thing also works really well to, for that. Um, plus, you know, I've got the stiletto and all kinds of stuff. So. Just make sure you have something to push it through if need be. I am now going to take this to the ironing board and iron it open. Go ahead and set the seams on both sides here. And then I'll be pressing the seams toward the flat fabric.
Okay, so at this point, no need to worry. You know, when you're sewing a bunch of little pieces together, some of them are going to get off kilter. This is when I take my ruler, line everything up, and just cut the little bits off. And then keep on sewing. Okay, so I am going to line this up corner to corner here and just cut this piece off here. And that one looks good. So I am now going to take my corner. I'm going to snowball all four of these corners next. So I need to open these up. And I'm going to do my diagonal line draw. Okay. I am going to snowball these two corners first. So I'm going to make sure these are lined up here. And this corner next. I'm going to take it to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew just on the outside, just a hair on the outside of the line, um, all the way down. And I am going to go ahead and pin the snowballs on the bottom. And I'm going to do the same thing sewing these. Okay, I have no idea what they're barking at back there. I am going to go ahead and cut off my corners. I need, uh, need a swivel mat too. I keep thinking all these things I need. <laughs> of course, we work with what we have, but things we would like to have, right? We are almost done. I'm going to press this open, then we're going to come back and we are going to work on our stem and leaf. Okay, setting the corners.
We have our pumpkin block. I now need to make the stem area. So I'm going to move my pumpkin block off to the side. The first piece I'm going to do is my leaf piece. Here is my stem. Here is my leaf. So I am going to take two corners here and I'm going to snowball them on both corners right here. So I'm going to snowball these and then this P piece is going to go there and this O piece is going to go here and then we will sew them all in a line. Now that my piece looks like this, I'm going to take my scissors because they're handy and cut these off. Let's go iron this open. Okay, set my seams. I'm just going to iron them open. And again, I'm pressing the, seed, the seams to one side, but you can sure press them open. On my leaf part, I am going to sew this P piece. And that was just quarter inch. I am going to finger press that open. And then I'm going to sew my stem piece here. And I am just going to finger press that open. Okay, I'm going to sew the last little piece, and that is the other end to this stem. I'm going to put that on. Still a battery. And I'm going to finger press this open. Here is the pumpkin. I am going to take this stem and I'm going to put it on here. I just need to make sure that my stem will be completely in the middle here. Okay, I can get put my pins in place to hold it. Quarter inch. I'm just finger pressing this open and then I'm going to take my last piece here and it is a blank block. I'm going to put it on here. And I'm going to run my quarter inch stitch right down the side here. And that's our stem. I'm going to give it a good press. I'm going to cut this block down. 
I need to make sure that this is six and one quarter. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm basically, oops, moving it around again. Gonna straighten up the quarters, the straighten up the sides here. And then this side needs to be 10 in a quarter. And we're barely making it. <laughs> That does not need to be cut down. There you go. The pumpkin block. And there are all four of the pumpkin blocks that are going to be on this quilt. I should probably steam press the other ones. <laughs> I didn't do that yet. All right. That is all there is to putting together the pumpkin quilt block. Now it is a little bit more time consuming because there's a little bit, um, there, are, there are a few more components to it. Uh, a few more snowballing corners, but super easy and super fun, super cute. Now, keep in mind, I am not a professional quilter. I haven't been doing it my entire life, but I do enjoy sewing and quilting. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. It really helps me out a lot, and I sure do appreciate your support. You can find me on Instagram at JennyGoff18. I'm also on Facebook, and you can visit my blog for all of my recipes at JennyGoff.com. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.